hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to present to you uh, how we can uh, implement syslog Sys server in the cisco packet tracer so this is the network that i have created where this is the router that is facing syslog server directly and this is this uh, uh, second router which is like like behind the another another network so as as of now the basic configurations that i did in this uh, setup is like i have created a, a network and a syslog server which is pingable from here the ip of uh, the syslog server is 10.0.0.2 and you can see the reply is coming from that and you can ping that server that syslog server from this network as well which is 10.0.0.2 and see there you can you are getting the replies so now the next step is uh, we are going to configure the the router before we start uh, we just need to imp uh, add the timestamps so that uh, the sys logs have timestamps as well uh, like uh, the date and time should be mentioned in the logs otherwise there is no no uh, benefit of this is logs so to configure that we have to go to config mode and and from here we have a command which is service timestamp log date and time Oops. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. There is microseconds. It's milliseconds actually. So, so from this command, we can actually get the exact timestamp of the of the activity that has happened. To see the example, we can like open an interface. It could be physical or logical and you can see the timestamp which is date march 1 and the day, time is mentioned in the log okay so we can exit this sample now to create a log on the syslog server we have to enter the command which is logging and we have to type the host name which is 10. 0 .0 0 0.0.2 and to see that if this command is complete yes it is complete so now we can open the syslog server and see if the services are on yes the services are on now so if i want to see that if my syslog server is capturing the data the logs i'll check i'll again take the same example and let's see if syslog is able to capture yes you can see the the message we are getting over the syslogs so fast ethernet 0.2 has changed its stage from to up so in this way we are able to capture the logs on the router and to capture the logs from this router before that we have to have the accessible uh, the syslog server accessible from this location we can try to ping ping it first Yes, it's pingable. Now, the same thing we have to do here. We have to add the timestamp command so that exact time and date is recorded in the logs. Oops, again, sorry. And now, we have to enable the logging 
host and 0 0.0.0.2 and to see if it's work it actually works okay so yeah you can you are able to see that the exact time stamp of the log is there and this is a second router this one and we have the message which is sub interface or logical interface has been has changed its state state to up and this is the way how we can configure a syslog server in a cisco packet tracer thanks if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you